Hello and welcome to Board Game Gumbo. Today we're going to be unboxing Tapestry, the newest game from Stonemaier Games. Tapestry is a game for one to five players, plays in about 90 to 120 minutes, and it's a civilization building game where you'll be advancing your own group on uh, several different tracks, uh, trying to ultimately score the most points by the end of the game. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Let's see, first of all here, we've got a few. This is for the uh, buildings, uh, which we'll see later. So let's put that aside for now. This is the starting boards for each faction. So it gives you a nice little turn order here, what things happen at what phases. Uh, this track is for your resources. And then up here, you'll actually have buildings that sit in these spots. And for each spot that's uncovered, each building that you've put out, you'll get certain resources or points or even cards during each upkeep phase. So we've got some punch board here. These are for the different land areas that you can discover during the course of the game, come out very easily. And with most Stonemeyer games, card stocks are very good. Have some cards here. This does come with a solo mode, as most newer Stonemeyer games do. And it looks like, at least the ones in back here, are for that solo mode, right here. I'm not particularly uh, familiar with many of the solo modes, so I'm gonna put those aside. We've got uh, what just looks like, like a couple cheat cards here, explain how the game works. These are tapestry cards. So these are cards you'll accumulate during the course of the game. And you'll notice here on the player boards have little areas to denote the different rounds. So the starting round, you have the maker of fire, so you're not gonna have a card here. But every time you advance a round, you're going to select one of these cards that you've gained and put it there. And it'll give you maybe just victory points, but this one has a, a bonus during the current era, so during this era. Whenever you invent a card or gain a tapestry card, you'll also gain three victory points. And there's quite a few of these tapestry cards. And these are very good card stock. These are linen finish. Got another deck of cards here. These are, at least part of them are the technology cards. So there's a lot of things going on when you play this game. One of them is uh, technology. So these are cards that will come out in a tableau. And whenever you gain a technology, you can select from that tableau. They have different bonuses. When you first gain them, they don't do anything for you. But when you advance them, you'll get the bonus in the circular spot. And then when you advance them again, you'll get the bonus in the square spot. Uh, some of them do have requirements to being advanced to the third phase. This one, for instance, somebody has to be in the second tier of the technology track for you to advance that. But there are quite a few of these as well. And then back here, I'm going to assume these are more of the solo mode cards. One of the nice things Stolmeyer does is always give you plenty of extra bags, which is always helpful. You've got rule book, pretty short and simple little reference guide just to tell you what all the different tracks on the game board mean. And then an explanation of all the technology cards. This is their single rules explanation or solo rules, more of the solo rules, another reference guide, and then the board. So there is area control in the center of the board. As you can see, this would be for uh, two or three players, I assume. And then down here, you have the different advancement tracks. So for instance, science, everybody will start here. And then as you advance, you pay resources. So you advance to the first spot, pay a resource, and you get to roll this green die, which will give you advancement in potentially other areas. Then you have the second spot here, also cost you a resource, gives you a, a tapestry card. But then down here, you can actually pay an additional resource in order to put out one of your gray buildings. And there are four tracks giving different bonuses. Here we have, let's see, I believe these are the nation cards. So 
You'll get two of these, I believe, at the start of the game, and then pick from one. And these are basically special powers that your civilization will have. So you have like the isolationists, they just want to be left alone. So they start with four tokens, and when you comp uh, conquer a territory, you can place one of your tokens from here uh, in addition to your outpost. And then that territory can't be conquered further. You also gain a resource. And at the end of the game, you're going to score points for the largest connected areas you have with only your buildings. And if you have six, you get 40 points, which is quite a bit in this game. Here you have uh, boards that each player is going to get one of these. It's going to tell you, first of all, where you start on the main board. So the main board is numbered. And also, this is where you're going to be putting your buildings. And every time you complete a square, you're going to earn a resource. And then as you complete rows and columns, you're also going to score points uh, during each income phase. And then finally, we get to all the plastic bits. So these different buildings, you're going to gain during the course of the game by moving up on the different technology tracks, or the, I'm sorry, the different um, technology, military, science, or ex exploration tracks. So these buildings will be out here. Um, for instance, let's see if we can find one. This building will be on the board here. And if you advance to a certain spot first, you'll actually claim this building and be able to put it onto your territory board, covering up a certain number of spaces. And again, you're trying to do that to collect resources and also score points every round. So there's quite a few of these buildings. Some of them also come from technologies. So some technologies that you acquire will give you buildings. And then down here, we have the resource buildings. So again, your player board, these red buildings would cover up these spots. And as you put them out, you'll get different uh, advantages each round. So if this first spot will be open, open during the first round, you'll get one of these star resources, combat power, and one tapestry card. If you put out a second building, then in your next income phase, you'll get two stars and one tapestry card. So we've got red buildings, brown buildings, gray, and finally yellow. And then over here, we have the different trackers for your resource. Everybody will get one of each, each of these. And this will just track your resources down here on this scale. And then each player will get a set of these little citadels. And these are what will go out onto the different hexes of the main board to show that you control that territory. And finally, we have dice. So the red and the black dice you roll whenever you conquer a territory. And then you can choose to gain one of those things, one of the two things. So for instance, you could gain a military power or you could gain four victory points. And the green die is for the science track. Generally, as you advance on the science track, you're gonna roll the green die and that may advance you on technology or it may advance you on military. And that's it. That's everything that comes with tapestry. Tapestry itself you can find uh, in your local gaming store or online, it retails for $99. Um, there is a lot of quality here. A lot of the boards um, are very good quality. Cards are linen finish. Um, as with most Stonemeyer games, it's very, it's above average. So if you, this looks interesting to you, uh, go ahead and check it out at your local gaming store. Uh, again, thank you for checking out our videos. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe at the bottom. If you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them below. We're always looking for ways to improve. Thank you again for watching the video.